Hey there, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Just give me like, just like, just one second. Be right back. <sighs> That's much better. Okay, um, what's up? Welcome back today. I wanted to do more work on that bigger project that I've been working on. Um, my movie, basically, is I guess what I'm calling it because I don't really have a name for it. So yeah, this is part four. Five. I actually, to be honest, I, okay, so the last video I did on this was a while ago. I've really been on like a big break since then. I just kind of chilling out and doing whatever. I just watched, I watched a bunch of movies actually. However, that's not what I wanted to talk about today. Um, so I haven't done any work on this actually since that last video that I did on it. Uh, I actually like that video a lot, by the way. Um, but I don't actually know what I'm going to talk about. I, so I'll be honest, I don't actually know what I'm doing. I mean, I know, I know like what I want this to be about. It's not, not like that. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I don't know. You would think that there would be like a sequence of steps, you know, you got like, you start here and this is like, boom, the idea and you need to get to the finished product, but it's the steps in between. Like most of it is pretty decently simple once you get out of pre-production. Pre-production is what I don't really understand because I haven't done it that much. Editing is like, you edit. And I mean, you know, like there's a lot of decisions that have to go into that, but it's not like, like I understand what that entails. With shooting, I also understand what that entails. I mean, not like on a big movie set, clearly, because that's a little bit different, but generally, I know what you do. Pre-production, I've never written a script. I guess I don't really know how to get from here to being ready to film. Um, so, I'm... What I kind of had thought, like, over this time off is that with these videos, what I wanted to do more for brainstorming is I have been doing the videos where I'm speaking out loud and stuff. And the last one I talked about my anxiety and some other stuff, you know, I talked about whatever. It's very much like in depth me talking about that. In one way, I kind of want this series to be about that. But in another way, I feel like it's going to be really long and I'm just going to keep finding things to talk about and whatever. Uh, it, like it'd be inefficient or something. So as we progress forward, hopefully something that I'm going to try to do is maybe film little bits, uh, maybe over like the span of a week. If I like have enough stuff that I feel like, um, is kind of similar and like progress, um, I'll put that together, put that into a video, uh, like one video, but, uh, instead of having like one eight minute video or one like 20 minute video um, because that way it could still be me doing it in depth and like when I have these ideas like it makes more sense in a video format I guess I could also keep doing it like this or I could literally do it where I do work off camera like do my own stuff come back and kind of share um, what it is I'm doing like what progress I made, what ideas I came up with, and stuff like that. So I need to figure out what I feel like I need to do is figure out what is important. I also think that I need to do quite a bit of research, but which I feel like I have to do less of, which does not, ex it's not going to be like, I'm not going to do research or I shouldn't just because this is a very, it's all about me. No, but it, it's like, my experience is very much what this um, is kind of based off, uh, if that makes any sense. Willie, the air has to turn on. It's so loud. I feel like something that I need to do is figure out uh, actually like main points for this movie, things that I really want to talk about and focus on. So last time we focused on character, but it was like, it was really just one thing and it was really just kind of me talking about um, one thing that has impacted me, which is very much what this movie is about. So I am very fine with talking about that for 23 minutes. Um, guy or girl, I remember, I didn't decide. Still don't know, don't really think it's that important. I don't know, I mean, I think it definitely is very important for how the people will be perceived. I want it to be relatable, which sounds really stupid, 
But like in the sense that I want it to make sense to people. I don't want them to be like, this is weird. This does not happen to anyone. Because hopefully it does. And I'm pretty sure that it does. Honestly, I do in a way worry about similarities between this movie and 8th grade too much. Not like... Eighth grade was a fantastic movie, so it's not like if I made a movie similar to it, it would be a problem. Um, but it's just like, I don't want that movie to drive kind of uh, my thought process for making this. Because they have similar feelings. They're kind of about the same thing, but in different ways. Because I don't want mine to be about the pressures of being a kid. It's very much not about that I think and I think that the only reason that I've picked like junior year of high school is that it kind of adds some more stress and also I feel like if you if you had the main character being like 25 um I think it'd be kind of weird L like in in my opinion it, it wouldn't make sense in my mind it's like why this person wouldn't be making movies but they'd want to do it more than anything but then they'd have to be working at like what like some restaurant or something, which uh, isn't an inherently bad thing. But I do think that it it fits the character of a um, kid or someone kind of figuring out their life um, in high school better to be kind of unsure or very um, anxious. Not to say that like older people aren't but I do think that people would like I think it would be a stronger emotional connection I think that there's a lot of ways that this could feel weird because I don't want it to be like a sob story like boohoo look at me I have anxiety I can't do this thing so I, I do actually think that the person is quite important I feel like in my mind if it's a guy there has to be a lot of things that you have to establish uh, if it's a girl, I feel like there would be a lot more that I have to learn personally, which is not something that I'm against. I'm not fully certain about how either would affect an audience in different ways, which is actually something that's kind of interested me in the past, is like how does like race or gender, like, you know, these different factors actually affect the audience's ability to relate to and sympathize with a character. I definitely don't think that it's like a huge thing because it's not like I can't sympathize with a girl or like someone of a different race than me. It's like, like I don't think that that's a thing really, but I do think that um, in this sort of mental health sort of thing, uh, where someone is just very uncomfortable with who they are, there's a lot of kind of expectations for how these people would be. For example, people expect that people who are like quiet or like shy are very, or like anxious people are very quiet and shy and like don't do stuff or whatever, I don't know. But you kind of get the idea, I'm sure. I'm sure you've seen a movie at some point where someone is quiet or shy or something like that. That's how people are perceived. But there's also, see, if you look at someone like Bo Burnham, not from his director's standpoint, but in his comedy, he's very anxious, but at the same time, um, he's able to perform on stage. And yes, he does have issues with it sometimes, but that, that's not the point. That's not what I don't want to talk about about this. It's like, you can be both outgoing and also anxious. So I just don't want people to get the idea that this person, they're like, oh, this person's not anxious or like, like, I don't want, I don't want someone to get the wrong idea about it. I don't want someone to not kind of get it or for my character to seem uh, disingenuous. And I was actually literally thinking earlier today that disingenuous is a word that does not really make sense because why don't they just use ingenuine? And does disingenuous mean the same thing as ingenuine? I don't know where I'm really trying to go with this video. I need to figure out what's important to me about this. So I guess one thing that is important is, is the um, perception of the person. And I think the perception is something that's very much interested me. But uh, the way that I portray them is, I think, very important. 
I mean, clearly that's like the whole thing when it's about it, when it's a character centric movie. I don't want it to like align with like stereotypes, but I definitely don't want it to be hindered by someone's uh, preconception of what like blank person should be like. I'd rather it show a more realistic um, look and something that actually is truthful than just what people like want to see. Because that's definitely not something that interests me. It's just like, again, I don't want it to, I don't want my thing to be hurt by the fact that other people kind of like perceive people differently or like expect this person to act this way. So we'll figure that out. That's definitely something that I'm probably going to do off camera uh, because I think that that is a lot of deliberation and also something that's going to have to come a little bit later. Maybe I can get some plot points down. Maybe maybe we'll try to do a little bit of that. Maybe I could start it out even before I started getting into movies because I, I really um, kind of figured out that this is like the path that I wanted to go down my the beginning of my junior year. So like maybe it starts off where you get the idea of the anxiety and like the feeling that this person already has um, for not knowing what they want to do before they figure it out. So that's that's like the first first kind of thing. It starts off this person doesn't know what they want to do. That's very difficult for them. This is weird. I'm like talking it's like talking about myself, but in the third person because I'm like putting it on someone. Anyway, the start is, we're gonna do it junior year. We're gonna have the start be the junior year of high school. This person does not know what they wanna do, where they wanna to go to college, any of that. They're just very unsure, very um, kind of scared, nervous about the whole thing. And then they're in this film class. Maybe they're not in this film class, I don't know. It is, like, realistically, it is a good way to get from point A of not knowing what they want to do to point B of this is what I want to do. It's a very kind of logical introduction to it, I think. It could start even before the school year starts. And then the introduction to the film class, like on, on the first day of school. And then maybe you kind of follow that a bit. Does this seem like cliche or like too obvious? Cause I don't, I don't want that. I also don't want it to be one of those things where it's like, oh, this wonderful teacher helped bring this student to find their passion. That is definitely not what happened for me. I figured that out on my own. Uh, my teacher didn't do anything. We don't know what we're gonna do in these scenes really or anything right now. I'm just kind of trying to figure out the logical progression of the movie to see what makes sense. Yeah, we're doing a brand deal, boys. I'm just kidding. So first day of school, you know, maybe you have some in the next few days where they're like learning some of the ropes, kind of figuring a little bit of stuff out. Um, personally, socially, you know, and whatever, I don't know. And you follow that through a bit, maybe. Or maybe, maybe it's like you just see the kind of introductory stuff and it's like, boom, it's two months later or something like that. But I, don't, I also don't know. Follow through to next, next like major point is this person has kind of figured out that this might be the thing that they want to do. It is still something that they don't... For me, I figured it out. I thought I liked editing. I thought I liked video editing a lot, um, which I do. I think that, so I told, I think I told my parents that I wanted to be an editor. And then later on, I kind of figured out that I didn't want to be an editor. Well, so they were very excited about me wanting to be an editor. They're like, you know, you can make a lot of money doing this and the, you know, commercials, you can make a good amount of money doing that. Okay, so this person now knows what they want to do, even if it's vaguely. I feel like you definitely have to evoke the feeling that this is something that me is like a big deal. That this person has finally figured out that this is kind of what they want to do. And even though this stresses them out, they are very, it's like a burden has been lifted. There's like a new, there's like a new set of issues here, but it's like this problem is not a problem anymore. I'm just going to make a note of that. Okay, so 
<sighs> okay, so what I was just writing down is kind of a way to introduce this uncertainty. I'm not sure if I love it, I'm not sure what. Uh, so in the beginning, we're going back to the beginning. I know we haven't really gotten like anywhere, but there's maybe some like summer stuff, whatever, to kind of establish character a little bit. One thing that I, I remember is one time I was in the car with my dad and my sister and we were on the way to um, my school and like what I wanted to do came up somehow. I can't remember really. Uh, that's not the point. The point is that it was still when I didn't know what I wanted to do. My excuse was architecture. I said that I might want to do architecture, whatever. I don't, but you know, that's what I told people. Kind of satisfy them or whatever. It was like something that I could say. Maybe that kind of thing is brought up. Then you're introducing, and oh, and so this character could even have a sibling that drives this sort of uh, conversation into that. This is like getting very analogous to my life, which is not something that I think is a bad thing because I definitely think it's kind of, I mean, it's interesting to me. Let me know down below if you think that any of this is kind of interesting. Yeah, anyway, so like the excuse for like, sure, this is what I want to do. I kind of accepted that this was like the thing that I was going to do because I didn't know what else. I was like, I guess I'll do this. Anyway, back to where we were. Now the person knows that they want to pursue film um, vaguely. So you have to build on that. You have to build on... It can't just be like, oh, I think that this would be cool to do. I definitely think that it has to be expounded upon for you to really get the idea that this is like something that this character is serious about. Like this person's actually... It concerns me that then it wouldn't make sense for this person to be scared to make a movie. It wouldn't make sense for this person to figure out that this is the thing that they want to do if they've never done anything. But at the same time, it has to be that when it's like a real thing is when it becomes very much stressful. I feel like if I kind of go with my life at this point, it becomes uh, much too complicated. There would have to be way too much explanation or I would try to give too much explanation. So I kind of need to figure out a way around that. So what I'm going to do is actually um, end the video here, which, you know, I mean, I don't really know if it's the best ending point. Maybe this is like act one or something. I have a few decisions that I need to figure out kind of on my own. Um, characters, one thing, I'm not gonna worry about that yet. This plot point right here, which is what the person does and how you understand that this is something that means a lot to them. And like, it makes sense that this person wants to do this thing because it was, if it was, I feel like in my mind, it doesn't really make that much sense for someone to see some like movie and be like, I want to do this. But I mean, in a lot of cases, I think it does. Maybe we have like a movie or like something that really like affects the person. Um, for me, that movie was kind of La La Land. Uh, it wasn't like I didn't want to make movies before and then I saw that movie and it did. Uh, it was just kind of like, it kind of like reinforced something or it, I don't know, it made it seem, I don't know, I can't remember. I saw it at like the perfect time and when I was kind of figuring things out. It, it just like affected me beautifully. So yeah, I'm gonna figure that out. Um, I will see you on the next videos. Thank you so much for watching, this has been um, part five of this series, plot points.